Hey guys, it's John Elder from Agoski, Nashville. Bringing you the east sides of the week. This week is Supine Growing Progressive, also known as the Tower. Uh, we in the Agoski community refer to this exercise as the Tower um, because of this mechanism here. And I've recently put a blog post up regarding varicose veins, uh, and I wanted to show you all how to do this exercise. But this is kind of a this is kind of what defines our, our therapy here at Agoski. This is kind of what put Pete Agoski on the map and, to be honest, what separates us from everyone else. This is the most important exercise we have. It's the most powerful exercise we have, and all you have to do is, is lay here. Uh, I'm going to have Corey set herself up in it. This is the, um, the foot boot that comes along with the tower. Um, you can see there's a heel strap here, Velcro that's going to go over the top of the shoe. I'm going to have Corey go ahead and set yourself up there. We want the tennis shoe on tight, and we want the Velcro strap pulled tight down over the top of the foot. I'm going to, of course, bring your left leg up to the block here. This block is 18 inches. This is a standard kitchen table chair, dining table chair height. Uh, left leg up on the, on the block here or chair at home to give the knee and the hip a 90 degree angle. And then I'm going to have her bring her left leg or her right leg up into the tower. We'll adjust this a little bit. We want her shoulder hip, knee, and ankle all in a line. So if I look at her from the bottom up or the top down, I should, I should see that everything is pretty much in the line. I want her arms out at about 45 degrees. This is going to help reposition her thoracic back, her upper back, to help get a release from the top down as we're keeping her ankle in neutral with the little boot to have an effect from the bottom up. This exercise is as I mentioned before, great for anybody who's, uh, and specifically to the blog post, anybody dealing with varicose veins to help get the ankle, knee, and hip lined up again and get the blood flowing properly, but any, anybody also who's dealing with back pain, knee pain, chronic migraines, shoulders, plantar fasciitis, really any symptom that you can imagine, this is going to be good for. We're, we're targeting specifically her, her hip flexor, her iliopsoas mus muscle, which is going to start in her low back cut down on top of the pelvis and cross over to the inner thigh. It's the only muscle in the body that connects the upper, middle, and lower. And for us, in regards to our therapy and the deep stabilization of the body and the deep stabilizing system, it's crucial. We're going to allow the iliopsoas to come back to its proper length and tension. Corey, I'm sure your back, does it feel a little bit arched up? Mm -hmm. Okay. So right now the low back is arched up, meaning that iliopsoas is still a little bit tighter than what it needs to be. So I'm going to have Corey lay here until that low back starts to flatten out and return to its proper length and tension before we move the foot down to the next level. So we want to make sure that low back flattens out before we go down. As it flattens out, that's an indicator that that muscle has released. And we're going to get that segmental change of her pelvic girdle, her lumbar spine, and her femur at every level as we take the foot through this progression. Normally, this is going to take you anywhere from five to maybe ten minutes a level, so it's a little bit longer of an exercise, but it's, as I said before, the most important exercise that we have. Upper back is, is starting to change. You can see her kind of adjust her shoulders a little bit. Um, that's the, the, the movement is already happening, and she feels the need to kind of move around and adjust as the changes are taking place, and that's fine. That's, in my opinion, great. So we're going to pretend that her low back is flat now. And Corey, I'm going to have you bend your knee, lift the foot out, and then take it right down to the next level. Now you'll see her kind of adjust back, and then we can adjust the chair or the block accordingly to keep the 90 degree rule at the knee and the hip. And we're going to continue this progression over the next four, including this one, five levels of the tower. Six levels total times five minutes per level. You're looking at about 30 minutes per leg or more. Personally, I do this exercise two to three days a week, an hour per leg. Uh, that's my menu for that day. Uh, I, don't, I don't do it more than that, but while I'm in it, I do it longer than I typically would, you know, with the 30 minutes a leg. How are you feeling? Really nice, actually. Comfortable? Mm -hmm. Good. How's the low back? It's starting to flatten out. Okay, good. You can steer, see her still adjusting her shoulders a little bit, but that lumbar spine is starting to release, and that's exactly what we want. As always, call us if you have any questions. 615-771-8556, or you can email us at nashville at agoscu.com. That's E-G-O-S, 
C-U-E.com. Take care and keep moving.